Within the recent chapters of Berserk since the passing of Kentaro Media, we've been subjected to a whole nother level of misery and pain within the storytelling. The most gut-wrenching, no pun intended, is experiencing the main character Guts' current state. Now, we're not new to Guts being down, sad, or even regretful, but this recent encounter with Griffith definitely was a twisting of the knife kind of ordeal, which literally left him in a broken state. Like, literally his mind was broken, and now he is temporarily indisposed. Broken. A trait that none of us contemplated would be associated with a strong-willed character like Guts. This is what I'm here to discuss and explain, but before we get into that, a quick reminder to drop a like if you found a discussion video to your liking. Also, if you have any suggestions for future Berserk discussion or analysis videos, comment them down in the comments or sign up for a suitable tier for the channel's Patreon, where your suggestion for channel content and direction will take precedent over non-members. Now let's get into the topic at hand. Yo, yo. So, for those of us who are up to date, we're well aware that Guts has gone into a comatose state after suffering an anxiety attack to then later sink into deep depression. And as this particular moment takes place, where it looks as though the Berserker armor shadows around his neck area and then Guts screams in agony and his eye opens to reveal that he's in a trance. But in his mind, it looks as if he's sinking into the depths of water, into the abyss of his mind because in the next panel, his body is still here but he falls into a coma. This is what we're here to discuss because there have been speculation all around the internet. I've seen some people say that the Berserker armor is activating and transforming Guts or that he's going through his own version of the Eclipse because this panel mirrors when Griffith was going through his transformation into Femto during the first Eclipse, or that he's going to activate the Behelit and become an Apostle. Okay, great. Now, I can see why people will presume this, and these thoughts have some validity. Especially the thought of Guts is going through a similar transformation that Griffith and other Apostles went through. So again, I can see it. So what do I think? What do I believe is happening to Guts currently since the end of chapter 371? It's not that different from some of these predictions, but what I perceive has more to do with the mental and less of the physical like the other predictions. What I think is happening to Guts is he is going through a process called shadow work. I'm sure a lot of you are like, duh, he's obviously sinking into the darkness. Yes, but that's not exactly what shadow work is, at least not entirely. Now, you're probably wondering what is shadow work then, if it doesn't mean his mind is sinking into darkness. Well, if we look at the textbook definition, the first part states that shadow work is working with your unconscious mind to uncover the parts of yourself that you repress and hide from yourself. Now, if we take those words literally in consideration to a character like Guts, what is he suppressing and hiding? I mean, if it ain't obvious, it's the beast of darkness. Now. The unique part about this sentence is the first half, speaking of working with your unconscious mind to uncover parts of yourself. Interesting, isn't it? Now we all know in the past that it's always been the beast who initiates contact with guts and or forcefully will take over in battle, especially with the berserk armor on. So it almost sounds like guts is going to initiate contact, willingly taking himself to confront the beast. No more suppressing, no more hiding, it's time to confront the darkness within him. Now, the second part of the definition states, this can include trauma or parts of your personality that you subconsciously consider undesirable. This is the most crucial part of shadow work and it says a lot about Guts' evolution as a character. This also confronts the notion that I've seen a lot of people perpetuate. This notion that the Beast of Darkness is a separate entity that possesses Guts since the experiencing and surviving the Eclipse. This is far from the truth. First, what needs to be understood is that Guts and the beasts are one and the same, two sides of the same coin. One is the conscious and the other is the unconscious mind. How this usually plays out is the conscious mind is your mask, the person everyone gets to see. This is the persona interacting with people in the real world. The unconscious mind is your true self. This is who you are at your core, the persona that you are afraid to let loose at 100% due to fear of how everyone will react and judge you. So yeah, you're hearing correctly. 
I'm informing you that the beast is the real guts, and the guts that we know is just a watered down version of his true nature. To give a comparable example, the beast being guts' true nature is the same way Femto being the true unaltered nature of Griffith. How about a reference from outside of Berserk and Batman, let's say? Bruce Wayne, millionaire bachelor, has become the mask to operate in society, while the mask of Batman allows Bruce to tap into his true nature. Guts' true personality has always been dormant in him and has always popped up here and there since the beginning of the story. For instance, anytime we witness Guts relishing and enjoying himself in the heat of battle, anytime Guts is in a fit of rage or in anger, anytime we witness Guts resisting and going against the grain, all of that was the beast. The only reason that we were not aware of it during the Golden Age is because it took a traumatic experience such as the Eclipse to indirectly summon his inner self to protect him from his mind breaking like Casca's. In order to fight monsters, he has to be a monster himself. The Black Swordsman era was when Guts was truly basking in his authentic self, and it wasn't until he gained new companions along with Casca to protect that he had to put on a mask to shield them from who he is at heart at least until the Berserker armor would forcibly expose his true nature to everyone. Now, I know that I said that Guts is now going through the process of shadow work, but in reality, he's always been indirectly doing the work, but at different levels. It's just that this time, I believe he is directly doing the work instead of accidentally falling into it. For instance, when he overheard Griffith speaking to Charlotte after murdering Julius, and had a period of reflection, then ultimately he decided to leave the band to find his own purpose, that was a form of shadow work. When he confessed to Casca about his childhood trauma at the waterfall, another form of shadow work. When he made the promise in the cave after the eclipse, shadow work. Anytime we saw Guts speaking to his darker half, shadow work. All of these instances were reflections, as stated in the second part of the definition. His trauma and parts of his personality that he subconsciously considers undesirable. He bottled up his trauma from Gambino and Donovan didn't find it desirable that he was following Griffith's dream and was weak to save his friends against apostles. Especially didn't find that his lust for killing his enemies and ravaging Casca desirable. But he didn't become stronger until confronting those situations by defeating Griffith, sharing that he was graped, and murdered his father figure in self-defense. Now he has to delve into the deep parts of his mind to confront what he was repressing and accept the undesirable parts of his nature to evolve again. And I believe this will be the catalyst that allows him to master the Berserker armor and tap into the darkness or power that his Dragon Slayer has been building by the fighting dark entities post the Eclipse. The Beast of Darkness has always been the key, and in my perspective, of suppressing it instead of embracing this nature is the reason Guts is steadily getting weaker. Let me know what you all perceive is happening to Guts, and what you all think about my interpretation of what is happening to Guts via shadow work. As always, drop a like for your boy if you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to stay up to date on new videos dropping in the future. You know the vibes, it's Kaiser Kuslevin, appreciate you.